Thanks for coming back to the channel for another one from Infocom 2019. Back in December, we went to New York City, met with Maryland Sound in Times Square, and saw firsthand how the New Year's Eve Times Square broadcast and celebration relied heavily on Dante, audio over IP solutions to solve a number of unique problems. Specifically, it was Focusrite Pro's RedNet equipment that was put to work managing much of the I.O. for various gear, the needed conversions, and multitude of standards and protocols in use that day. Ever evolving as the technology is, I was really happy to have a few minutes to catch up with senior product manager Will Holt to hear about some of the new work they're doing on both the gear side as well as on the software side with some critical updates to their control software to include the new Dante Domain Manager features. So let's jump right in and welcome Mr. Will Holt to the channel. Hey, welcome to the Focusrite booth. I'm here to talk about our uh, latest updates for the system, what we got to show this week. Um, so First thing to say is we've just launched Rednet Control 2.4 as a beta on our site. Um, so that's available for download now for anyone who wants to go and get it. That's at beta.focusrite.com. The really important part of that update is that we have new firmware for all of the Rednet devices and for our Red interfaces. And what that firmware is going to do is it's going to give support for Dante Domain Manager. Um, and essentially we've updated each device. We've also updated Rednet Control. Uh, to play with, uh, with the domains, and that's going to allow us to have uh, some cool new features added to the software. With regards to headphone monitoring, there's really like two options that, uh, that we provide for really nice, easy integration into a Dante environment. The first is RedNet AM2. So AM2 is going to give you um, two channels of output from the network, and that goes to a line output on the back, so you can see the two male XLRs just here. It also goes to a headphone out on the front. Each of them has an independent level control, and there's a mute control for the line output. Um, as you can see, single cable going into the device, so it supports power over ethernet. That means we're gonna get our clock, our control, and our audio, as well as our power over one cable. Final part of AM2 I wanna show you is there's a mic stand mount on the bottom, which means I can mount it directly to a stand, keep it in, uh, keep it in reach exactly where I want it. Or there's some really nice clamps that you can get that allow you to clamp uh, this type of device pretty much anywhere you need it. We then have RedNet X2P. RedNet X2P is a two-in, two-out interface for the Dante network. That's got two mic pre's on it. So I can show you the, uh, the panel here. As you can see, we've got the two combi inputs on the right-hand side there. Traveling in a freighter combi. They're going to give you mic inputs, but they'll also take an instrument signal if you want to plug a guitar straight in, or if you want to plug a line-level signal into that as well, they're capable of taking that level of input. We also have the two line outputs again on the back on those male XLRs with their own level control here with a mute switch. We've also got a headphone output on the front panel. It too mounts onto a mic stand. And as you can see again, it's power over ethernet supplied. So that means we've just got one cable which simplifies things down. Some other features that make this great for a monitoring device, particularly where we're gonna be using our inputs as well. We've got a small local mixer on the device. That allows me to mix, provide a crossfade between my network inputs and also my, uh, my local inputs. So effectively, it becomes a bit of a more me control. I can get more of me either into my headphones or by pressing the input mix switch over here into the line outputs. So this is Rednet Control 2, um, specifically 2.4. We've released a beta version of that this Monday, so on Monday the 10th. That, as I say, provides the firmware updates for all of these devices and provides some functionality to integrate with Dante Domain Manager. So all of the devices are now on the version 4 firmware from Ordinate. And in the software, we can see some cool features. This video was made possible in part by my good friend Baz the Roadie. He's out on tour right now, and you can follow along at Baz, B A Z, the roadie.com. But when he's not on tour in the off season, he does awesome seminars about touring life, uh, pro audio on the road. And you want to be sure to catch those if you're in the Pacific Northwest. So hit Baz, the roadie.com for more info and dates. He's going to be announcing his fall schedule very soon. Baz, the roadie.com. Thanks for all the support, Baz. First of all, you'll notice that. I've already logged in, so I'm going to bring up the login window. You can see we've got a username and password entry for Dante Domain Manager, so I can enter my details in there. I'm already logged in. So what we can see now is that this domain drop-down appears in the top right corner here. That allows me to select the domain uh, that I want to be uh, viewing. So you can see I've got a few different domains set up here. I can go through and select each of those. The other thing we see is I've got my role over here. 
So you can see that for this particular domain, I'm actually an admin, which means I've got full control of everything. If I were to log in, log out, and log back in as um, as one of our more restricted users, then what we can see is that I'm on the unmanaged domain at the moment. If I go back into Campus A, as this domain is called, I'm an admin for that domain. I've got another one called Campus B. You can see that when I switch to that domain, I'm actually now an operator. So what that means is that some of the controls are actually limited down, so I have less uh, available control. And then finally, if we go and look at Campus C, then what that's going to show us is that I'm only a guest on that domain, and therefore I don't have control of any of the features that are relating to the Dante side of things. So you can see that my sample rate is grayed out, my follow sample rate is grayed out, and all of the settings in the settings menu for the device are also grayed out. So we're providing functionality above and beyond just supporting Domain Manager, and we're actually integrating it into what we do as well. Thanks again, Will, so much for taking the time amongst all the chaos at Infocom to be on camera and talk to us a little bit about what you guys have going on. Really awesome looking stuff there, and I hope to have some of the Focusrite Pro equipment in for proper first look, tear down, and review shortly here in the future. If you have an interest in seeing any of their equipment specifically, let us know down in the comments below. I know I'm really interested in trying some of those headphone PoE solutions that Will showed us, but there's a ton of other boxes out there that they make, and I'd love to know which ones you're interested in most. Thanks to everyone who supports the channel by following the affiliate links in the description below and visiting dcsoundop.com regularly. It's so great to see the website traffic growing and to meet so many of you through social media. If you're not following on Instagram and Facebook, find us at DC Soundop on all those platforms. That's it for this time. Thanks again for watching more Infocom videos to come. There's still some really cool interviews and talks with a handful more people. So stay tuned, lots more to come. It's gonna be a fun summer. Hope you're all having a great time during festival season. Really appreciate all the help. See you next time.